Yeah, I'm Lucky Lance, the self-proclaimed leader of Team Last Best Hope, the main man, Major Riot, coming right at you right here, right now. <sighs> Drinking some beer, Rainier, beer choice, cheap. Spot it, good, cheap and good. Six pack cost me like six dollars. That's a dollar a beer if you do the math. So, I'm ready. Are you guys excited? Well, before I get to the pack opening, because I'm here to open up some Yu-Gi-Oh, I got to do my sponsor. Gave me twenty-five dollars to uh, keep the lights on, pay for some of these packs, pay the mortgage, do whatever, buy me food, you know, whatever they got to do. And last time, you guys may have heard, I had a fabulous, wonderful sponsor, a new up and start business called Wet Fries. That's right. Fries that are wet as hell. Just like they went, like, they didn't make Noah's Ark. Like, that biblical flood was coming, and Noah did not put the fries on his ark. It, they, they just got completely waterlogged. I know that it sounds nasty and everything. It does sound gross. But once you put them wet fries in your mouth, you're like, I didn't know. Those are so damn good. So Wet Fries, again, is my sponsor. Right down there in Ian Claw by uh, Gallagher Hay and Feed. Uh, right on down there. Kind of a weird place to put a restaurant between a bunch of feed stores, but it makes sense. All the people that own the animals and the, and the farms, you know, they show up to get their shit, and then they're hungry, and they're like, get some Wet Fries. But anyways, Wet Fries is doing really well. I was at uh, work the other day, and a guy came up to me, and he's like, hey, man, you want some wet fries? And I was, like, excited, and I looked at the bag he brought. He brought in a, a brown paper bag, and that bag that bag looked like it had been in a, left in a mud puddle overnight and a pouring down rainstorm. That bag was just dripping wet. Like, it was just pouring out. Of the, the water was just pouring out of the bottom of the bag. I was like, oh, that looks like the wettest it's ever been. And then I put some in my mouth, and it was among the most tastiest things I've ever ate in my life. So Wet Fries, now they've got a new product, not really a new product. They only still serve regular fries, but in three different forms of wetness. We have damp, wet, and sodden. So you can adjust the level of wetness you want. So if you don't really like wet fries, but you still like wet fries, get the damp. If you really like wet fries, but you really want to get some wetness in your fries, you get the sodden. So, their new product, not really a product, but it's for your convenience, is the Wet Bag Feed Sack. Feed Bag, or whatever. It's, you know, you guys have ever been around horses? You, you uh, put that feed sack on the horse's mouth, and the horse just walks around with this bag on his mouth eating that. Well, you can do that now at Wet Fries. They bring out an entire sack, a big bag that you just put over your head and put it up to your mouth and you don't even have to use your hands anymore. And that's perfect for today's modern era of eating. If you eat and you're not looking at your cell phone at the same time looking up Wikipedia or watching weird videos or scoping out people on social media, you're not eating your food right. So that really helps you when you got the whole sack on your mouth and you're just eating because it's attached to your face. Now you got two hands free so you can have two phones or one phone here and waving with the other, I don't know, don't touch yourself because you're in a public place, but anyways, that's Wet Fries, really doing well out in Claw, really enjoying their business, and I, of course I appreciate their $25, thank you kindly Wet Fries. Alright, to the Yu-Gi-Oh opening, if you guys read the title, you know what's going on, yes, I got a hold of a Millennium Pack box, first ad, of course. Uh, I remember when this set came out, nobody really knew what was going on, and then Card Demise, everyone figured out what was going on at that point. So the only good cards out of this are still Card Demise, Left Arm Offering, and Immortal Phoenix. Uh, Raw, Immortal Phoenix, the cover monster. Um, pretty weird set, honestly. I always thought it was kind of this Millennium Pack. You know, now they got Sisterhood of the Rose coming out in a couple months, or next month, I guess. Um, but... Yeah, so I'd like to pull a card of Demise, which card of Demise was a card that everyone wanted banned, including me, or limited, and it never got touched, and now nobody plays the damn thing. So that just shows you that sometimes Konami knows what they're doing, we have no idea what we're talking about. So, anyways guys, there's a 36-pack box, 
five cards per pack. No guaranteed foils in any packs. Uh, there's some real dud foils. I remember one of the supers just like in the name of the Pharaoh or something. There's some weird ones that are pretty bad, and I'll be sad when I get them, but I'll be pretty hyped if I get a card of Demise. So, anyways, guys, let me get on over yonder, open up the packaging, and then, you know, it's a pouring down rainstorm. It's like I could just make my own wet fries by going out there and just throwing fries in a puddle, which would be pretty nasty, but it's stormy out. I mean, it has been downpouring rain for like a few days, and they say it's going to last for another seven days, so that's a week. Luckily, I live on top of a mountain, so I don't have to worry about flooding. I don't have to worry about landslides either. It's good. So, anyways, come head over yonder, rip that packaging off, and let's do this together. We're gonna need it to get through all the cars. See if I got a car demise or something, and let's make sure we all get drunk. Ah, it's gone in here. Yeah, here it is, the Millennium Pack. When's the last time you seen one of these? It's been a while. Um, like I said, hoping to get a car demise. I'm gonna drink this beer a little bit right now. It's tasting real good today. Mmm. Oh, that hops. Mountain fresh beer. You know what I'm saying? Have you guys ever looked at the can up close of Rainier? It's a pretty good looking can, really. It's just white with a big R. Mountain fresh beer, naturally brewed. Yakima Valley hops. It's good shit. Alright, let's get into this Millennium Pack. 36 damn packs. Are y'all ready? Can you handle what's about ready to happen up in me, huh? Alright. There we are. 36 of them. Woo! Here we go. The long nonsense begins. Symbol of friendship. Crush card virus. Visor dies. Launcher spider relinquished. Is Thousand Eyes restrict in this? Remember that was, I think the one before this was Rival of the Pharaohs. I'm not sure. Uh, widespread Ruin, Spiral Spear Strike, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, Dark Master Zork, and Scapegoat. Nice. Now semi limited. OCG just unlimited Ring of Destruction. Man, they had like eight cards hit the ban list. That was pretty intense. Acid Trap Hole. And the true name. That was the super I was talking about. The true name. Scapegoat, Shrink, and Pendulum Machine. <laughs> I like how that's in here randomly. Pendulum Machine. Alright. The true name. Declare one card name. Excavate the top of card of your deck, and if it is the declared name added to your hand, then you can add to your hand or spell summon one divine monster from your deck. Otherwise, send it to the graveyard. You can activate one <laughs> the true name per turn. That would be some pretty that'd be good in magic when you're scrying all the time in like a blue deck. But we don't have scrying in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm surprised they don't have that. Because that's just a magic only thing. Guy of the Fierce Knight. Oh, the Winged Dragon of Raw Immortal Phoenix. That's a good altar right there. Lejean, Metal Morph, and Relinquished. Cool. Winged Dragon of Raw Immortal Phoenix. It's hard to believe they have all forms of the Winged Dragon of Raw now. Um, so, anyways, it's a Divine Beast. Uh, cannot be normal summoned or set, must be special summoned by its own effect, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. If the Winged Dragon of Raw is sent from field to your graveyard, well, this card is in your graveyard, special summon this card. Cards and effects cannot be activated in response to this effect's activation. This card is unaffected by other card effects. You can pay 1,000 life points, send one monster on the field of the graveyard. Once per turn, during the end phase, send this card to the graveyard, and if you do special summon one Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode, from your hand, deck, or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. That's nuts. Uh, of course, Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode is a meta card, or at least it was. I don't know if it's getting much play right now. Against uh, Goki, the Gamma Seal just wasn't doing anymore. He had to bring in the big boy, the Sphere Mode. Okay, Panther Warrior. Nice. Tune World, alternate art. I don't like this Tune World nearly as much. Summon Skull. I don't like that Summon Skull nearly as much. Red Eyes, Black Dragon, and Guilford the Lightning, which is a really expensive secret rare out of uh, DR4, Dark Revelation 4. That's mighty expensive. We got a, oh, we got regular Celtic Guardian. Oh, yeah, I forgot they used most alternate art in this set. Celtic Guardian, Five Headed Dragon, Godor the Dragon of Destruction, Dark Paladin, Contract with the Dark Master. Uh, I always like this artwork of Dark Paladin. I think it looks really nice. I know um, 
I have the first dead of corrected art, which is worth like over a grand now, which is ridiculous to me. A widespread ruin for the rare tiger axe. This is a fast and powerful axe wielding beast warrior. Oh, that's so descriptive. Five headed dragon, red eyes, black metal dragon, and black skull dragon. Nice. This card's really expensive out of metal raiders now in first dead. I want to say it's over a hundred bucks. Someone was telling me that a blue eyes white dragon out of LOB as first dead in good conditions worth over a grand now. Glad I had not held on to mine, huh, kids? Oh, we got Thousand Dragon here? Oh yeah, different artwork on Thousand Dragon too. Again, I don't like it as much. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, yeah, everything's alternate art. Here's Vorse Raider. Pendulum Machine did not get alternate art. A horrible torture machine with a large pendulum blade. Uh, this wicked beast warrior does every horrid thing imaginable and loves it. His axe bears the mark of countless victims. Vorse Raider is hella when he first got printed. Crush Card Virus and Nightmare Wheel. Oh man, it is pouring out there. It is hardcore downpour. There are elderly people being crushed right now by rain. They're like, they're going out and they're just collapsing from the amount of water hitting them. XYD Dragon Cannon. Left Arm Offering, that's a good super right there. That's the only good super. Exodia Salesman Forbidden Lore, Prosper Strike, and Relinquished. I've got Left Arm Offering here, a staple in the um, 60 card uh, Infernoid deck. If you have two or more other cards in your hand, banish your entire hand, add one spell or spell card from your deck to your hand. You cannot set spell and trap cards during the turn you activate this card. So, pretty good. Just get that reasoning or um, uh, that grass looks greener. Which one guy I used to play in my locals, whenever he activated... Oh, look at this Flame Swordman look way different, too. I don't like this artwork. I don't like Flame Swordman's face there. But whenever he activated, uh, that grass looks green. He's like, that ass looks leaner! And he'd be all, like, frolicking. Uh, we got Vorst Raider, Black Illusion Ritual, Gandora the Dragon of Destruction, and Karibo alternate art. Again, I don't like it as much. Um, that Karibo looks kind of sickly, too. All right, looking good here. Join this box. What we got here? We got XYZ Dragon Cannon, Nightmare Wheel, nice. Connor of the Dark Master, Red Eyes B Dragon, and Shrink, which there's a prize card Shrink worth a lot of money. I've actually never seen it before. Most prize cards I've seen in people's collections, but I don't think I've ever seen a physical. I think I've seen pictures of it, like on eBay and stuff, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone ever have it. Kunai with Chain, Holding Arms. Weird ass super. Tiger Axe, Dark Paladin, and Shrink again. And then they're holding legs too. I think there's like two of these in this set. Holding arms. If this card is normal, especially on target, one face up monster opponent controls while this card is face up on the field, that face up monster cannot attack, and its effects are negated. Well, that face up monster is on the field, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. That's a pretty interesting card, honestly. It just takes up your normal. Uh, or, or it can be special too, but still, it, it's an interesting card, and I've kind of waited for Holding Arms to see play, um, because it just, it's like, it's like, you know, it, it's like, um, Fog Blade, it's almost the same thing, except, uh, you can still target that monster for attack, so, not bad, it'd be good to use against, like, a Vandy's Fiend. Panther Warrior, alternate art, uh, hold up here, I, I messed up a pile. I fucked up. Alright, we're good now. Uh, Gandor, the Dragon of Destruction, Five Headed Dragon, Vorse Raider, and Metal Morph. Didn't they make another Metal Morph? Like special Metal Morph or something? Fancy Metal Morph. Another Flame Swordsman. This is a super rare Metal Raiders, I believe. Uh, Red Eyes, Black Metal Dragon, Guilford the Lightning, Summon Skull, and Pendulum Machine. A fiend with dark powers for confusing the enemy. Among the fiend type monster, this monster boasts considerable force. Considerable force, not even like force. Just like, damn, that was that was brutal. Powerful. Summon skull. Man, it was just like in the show. I used to play, you know, way back in two thousand two, and you would sword and shield that fucker so hard. So good hit a summon skull the sword and shield. Thousand Dragon. Rebellion. Ultra rare. Not good. Karibo, Spiral Spear Strike, and Lejeune, a genie of the lamp that is at the beck and call of its master. 
Isn't Will Smith going to play the genie? That's going to be a fucking disaster. Uh, during each player's battle phase, target one monster your opponent controls. Take control of it until the end of the battle phase. Also, other monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You can only activate one rebellion per turn. Rebellion. I like how simple its name is. It's tough to get cards with such simple names now. We got here Acid Trap Hole. Asshole Trap Hole. Summon Skull again. Uh, Black Loser and Ritual. Red Eyes Bee Dragon. And Ring of Destruction. Have I gotten... Uh, yeah, I got him relinquished. Yep, I only Thousand Eyes Restricts in here. I think he was in Rivals of the Pharaoh. Got Celtic Guardian with his sweet, like, solar flare background. Uh, Sky Galloping Guy of the Dragon Champion, super rare. I don't even remember this card. Take a look at that, it's a fusion. Exodius Ultimate Forbidden Lore, Black Illusion Ritual, and Dark Master Zork. Zork, Zork. All right, there's a lot of text on this fucker. One guy, the Fierce Knight, and one Dragon-type monster. This card's name becomes Guy, the Dragon Champion, while it's on the field. It, this card is special summon. You can add one Spiral Spear Strike from your deck or graveyard to your hand. When this card declares an attack on an opponent's monster, you can change the battle position of that opponent's monster. This doesn't have piercing. That'd be cool if it had piercing. But it just does not, so it kind of sucks. God, I'm trying to get this last pack. Oh man. Here we go. I'm trying to. There we go. There. All right. There. Okay. We're good now. We're good now. There's a guy, the Fierce Knight. Look how fast he's moving. He's got like action lines behind him. Uh, Black Skull Dragon. Cody Solvent for Ben Lower Tiger Axe and Visitor. I don't know why Tiger Axe and like Pendulum Machine are in here. Like, what are they doing? Did they really need a reprint? Tiger Axe? I guess. We got Acid Trap Hole. Holding Legs. All right, I got both of them. Holding Legs. Uh, Dark Power and Black Illusion Ritual and Scapegoat. Holding Legs. If this card is summoned, turn all spell and all set spe spell and trap cards on the field of the hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one spell set spell or trap card your opponent controls. That set card cannot activate until the end of your opponent's next turn. God, I wonder if this is good against Alter Guys. Just normal this. They have to all be set. That's interesting. I mean, it's it's something to think about. You know what I'm saying? Like altar guys. It, it's so bad. Just play Danko Senka if you're playing Thunder Dragons. Just just play Danko Senka. Period. Widespread ruin. Vizard Des, Launcher Spider, alternate art for Launcher Spider too. I don't like this artwork nearly as much. The original artwork for Launcher Spider is sick. Mechanical Spider with Rocket Launcher is capable of Random Fire. Random Fire. Relinquish and Exodius, the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. Random Fire. That's not good. It, it, it shot its owner. We gotta get that thing registered. The gun show loophole is letting too many Launcher Spiders in the hands of children. Flame Swordsman, Vorse Raider. Summon Skull, Pendulum Machine, and Karibo. Three normal monsters there. Yeah, you know this set's not great when you open up a pack and three of the five cards are normal monsters. What we got here? Oh, we got another Panther Warrior. The tribute one monster. It's funny, they always show in the show uh, Panther Warrior tributing scapegoat tokens, but you can't tribute a scapegoat token. Uh, scapegoat. Let me make sure. Oh, for a Tribute Summon. Okay, it's just for a Tribute Summon. Shrink Pendulum Machine, Crush Card Virus. All right, well, I guess you still can use Pendulum. I, I digress. I apologize. I'm wrong. See, a lot of men wouldn't admit they're wrong. They'd be like, oh, no. That had been eroded. Nope, I was wrong. Celtic Guardian. Relinquish, Nightmare Wheel, Ring of Destruction, and Black Skull Dragon. All right. Should be getting like two more ultras, I think. I think I'm supposed to get four ultras. Acid trap hole, trap hole of spikes. This is actually an anime uh, inspired card here too. Uh, Summon skull, redeem black dragon, and a red eyes black dragon. What the hell? Guilford the lightning, pretty sick card. This is inspired by um, the trap card Joey played against Band Keith's Metal Zoa. Uh, when an opponent's monster that was normal is special summon this turn declares an attack, destroy the attacking monster if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of that monster. Not bad, it's just so so specific that it has to be summoned this turn. 
I, the ways I like that card. I actually like Trap Hole Spikes. I, I think it's, you know, if the game wasn't so wonky how Yu-Gi-Oh has turned out to be, that'd be a pretty cool card. Uh, Flame Swordsman. There we go. Bad. Two Winged Dragon of Raw Mortal Phoenix. All right. It's a good card. So he's still been Forbidden Lore, Toon World, and Crush Card Virus. All right, we got cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned by its own effects. It cannot be special summoned by other ways. If the Winged Dragon of Raw is sent from field to your graveyard, well, this card is in your graveyard. Special summon this card. Cards and effects cannot be activated to re in response to this effect's activation. This card is unaffected by other card effects. You can pay 1,000 life points. Send one monster on the field to the graveyard. Once per turn, during the end phase, send this card to the graveyard. And if you do special summon one Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode from your hand, deck, or graveyard, ignoring its summoning conditions. Damn. A big-ass Flaming Bird monster. I've always noticed that in Yu-Gi-Oh! They love big bird monsters. Like some sort of big ass bird tearing things up. Always. We got a symbol of friendship here. A five headed dragon. Red eyes, black metal dragon, black skull dragon, and tune world. I remember one time a guy at my locals, this is a long time ago, he made five headed dragon the natural way with actually making all of them, you know, five dragon type monsters. He actually made with polymerization. I just bombless trap pulled it. Kind of felt bad, but you gotta do what you gotta do to win. What we got here? Panther Warrior? Alright, another Panther Warrior. Metal Morph. Yeah, it was rare Metal Morph, the one I'm thinking of. Five Headed Dragon, Dark Master Zork, and Launcher Spida. Got another Flame Swordsman. Got a Karibo. Launcher Spider, Rain of Destruction. I think that's the first one I've gotten. Guilford of the Lightning, Ring of Destruction. Pretty good card. I, I, I actually still really like Ring of Destruction, and I'm always concerned about it, because you can just suddenly die to Ring of Destruction. Not like the old days. My god, the original Ring of Destruction was one of the worst fucking cards ever. Like, why'd you print this, Konami? Or Upper Deck, whoever was doing it at the time. Symbol of Friendship. Curse of Dragonfire. Uh, Metal Morph, Crush Card Virus, Contract with Dark Master's Orc. Man, that is a... Uh, roasted. This thing, this... Uh, Curse of Dragon has just been, this is a barbecued, um, just covered in hot sauce, uh, Curse of Dragon. This card's normal special summon. You can target one field card on the field, destroy once per turn. <laughs> Man, that's pretty specific. You can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monster you control fusion materials, including this card. Wait a minute here. Once per turn, you can fusion summon one fusion from your extra deck using monster you control fusion materials, including this card. I, I think you have to use this, this as fusion material. Otherwise, you could just... I, I don't know. It's pretty bad. How many supers do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe one more super? I think I had all the ultras. I think maybe one more super. One more. Unmos, por favor. Kunai with Chain. Contract of the Dark Master. Uh, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Shrink, and Toon World. Toon World's got such simple text on it. Pay 1,000. Five points to activate this card. We got Gaia, the Fierce Knight, another Toon World. Le Jin, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and Gondor, the Dragon of Destruction. This is what Yugi played to beat uh, Bakura in the final season. It's pretty cool when he did that. We got here a Thousand Dragon and a Sky Gallopin. Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Sky Gallopin. Vorse Raider, Metal Morph, and Nightmare Wheel. Sky Galloping. Uh, I mean, I guess he is. He's riding a dragon instead of riding a horse. So he's going through the air. Uh, let's see here. This card's name becomes Guy the Dragon Champion while it's on the field. This card's special summon. You can add one Spiral Spear Strike from your deck or grab your hand. When this card declares an attack on an opponent's monster, you can change the battle position of that opponent's monster. Again, it should have piercing if it's doing something like that. I guess if it's supposed to be attacking defense mode, you can change to attack too, but it should also have piercing. Just... This card is not good. Try to make it a tiny bit better. Just try. Uh, we got we got symbol of friendship, launcher spider, nightmare wheel, red eyes black metal dragon, and vizier des. Vizier des. Give me a second here. <laughs> All right. Just got a text update from a girlfriend. Let me know that. 
she's going to go to the store after work, which I appreciate her letting me know what she's doing. <laughs> All right, Celtic Guardian. I think I got everything I can get out of this box. Spiral Spear Strike, Lejeune, Gondora, and Five-Headed Dragon, which was the boss monster for two seasons. Remember that? Uh, well, it wasn't really two seasons, but, you know, uh, Big Five made it, and then they made it again. And then it turned out that it was, the tr it was not their boss monster. It was a Berserk Dragon or something. XYZ Dragon Cannon, uh, Tiger Axe, Guilford the Lightning, Shrink, and Ring of Destruction. All right, what else we got here? We got Kunai with Chain. Last pack. Can I get another Super Ultra? And oh shit! I did. I got a card of demise in the last pack. Oh fuck yeah! Damn. Damn! Black Illusion Ritual, da Dark Master Zork, and Karibo. Oh, shit! Shit, I pulled every good card out of this box. Oh, man, card of demise hanging in the back there, just chilling, waiting. Woo! <laughs> All right, draw the three cards in your hand, also the rest of this turn after this card resolves. Your opponent takes no damage during the end phase of this turn. Send your entire hand to the graveyard. You can only activate one card of demise per turn. You cannot special summon monster or special summon during the turn you activate this card. Damn, the last pack I get a card of demise. Nice. This is a good ass fucking box. I got two of the Immortal Phoenix. Which that card, I think, doing all right. I mean, it's the only printing of that card still. Get the one left arm offering, which, you know, it's good. But get that card to mize the end, and that was fucking sick. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this pack opening. Because I know I did. That was awesome. It was a good-ass box. I mean, even before I got the card to mize, I'm like, you know, this is a pretty good box. I got a good plethora of whatever I'm supposed to get. I'm satisfied. The only duplicate I got was the Winged Dragon of Ross uh, Phoenix mode, or whatever it's called, and that's a good-ass card. I like that card a lot. Um, but, yeah, I did really well in this box. It's a Millennium Pack. Bring it in. Not bring it up. You know, doing it right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Man, I really did. I, you know, it's always these old boxes that bring me the most joy and gleefulism and i don't know if that's a real word or not but anyways if you like what you saw go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of this stuff then hit that subscribe button and if you really want to be interested in this and you want to see me go more ape shit for a car demise hit that bell icon for whom the bell tolls and unified instantaneously i've uploaded some quality quality stuff and you'll be able to do whatever you want just throw your shit down and start watching the video because i know you've got nothing better to do then watch my videos, which I know is a lie. I just lied to you all. You obviously have something better to do than watch me open up cards and drink beer. Anyways, guys, really good box. Thanks for watching. Every comment and view I get makes me feel special and makes me just feel like I'm doing right. Even though I only get like 10 to 20 views, I'm still glad I'm able to share my experiences with you all. And, uh, and, uh, you know, I got some more videos coming, and uh, stay tuned. I'll catch you in a couple days. Peace!